build some jazz lines. Let's use this progression in F. Two, five, three, six, two, five, one. For the G minor seven, I'm gonna use an enclosure to enclose that minor third, one of the guy tones, and then I'm gonna walk up uh, using a bit of scales and a bit of jumps. Now I'm gonna make my way to a crunchy note on the next chord. I know that the C7, the flat nine sounds great, so I might go. And then from here, I know I'm gonna be using the octatonic collection of notes. I just know that, I can sort of see that, so I might play. There I just used chromatic passing tones. And now I know I have a D altered. And for this, I'm gonna use a G harmonic minor collection. The reason I'm doing that is because I know that this dominant D chord is gonna to go to a G minor, which is a little different than resolving to a major, for example. So I would be doing this. So from the A half. That was just a an arpeggiation downwards, and then I might go back to that octatonic mode, but look at this pattern I'm, I'm using. I'm changing my direction. Again, I'm using this octatonic collection. Again, I'm, in, that, in that case, I was just shooting for that sharp 11 because I know it sounds juicy. It's hard to explain in a TikTok, but in short, just aim for your guide tones, know what notes sound juicy, interesting on each particular chord and aim for them. And you can approach them chromatically from above, from below, you can approach them by scale, you can approach them by arpeggio. That's pretty much it. But all the tools in the world don't matter if you don't listen and imitate to build jazz vocabulary.